the past two years, I learned many two skills. And it... Wrong clip, sorry. And I gave everything for every skill. I got obsessed with learning. And it kind of became my reason for living. But then I saw this. These comments really hurt me. Because what if these guys are actually right? I guess there is only one way to find out. February 26th, 2020. I tried to draw a perfect freehand circle. I didn't even know it was actually doable. But somehow, I got it. Last time I tried so hard that I'm pretty confident I'm gonna get it immediately. Well, I told you, everything was under control. And you drawing a perfect circle is kind of like riding a bike. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. The key to get it is rotating the wrist in a way that the arm doesn't move. You basically need to become a compass. And it took a while to get there. But right when I was getting pretty concerned that I was about to fail the first skill of the video, I actually got something good. Ooh, this one is great. I mean, I don't want to say it's perfect, but it's kind of perfect. Next one. Wait a second. Maybe I'm not going to try 92 skills in this video. But I picked the 24 most meaningful ones. And one of them is for sure the backflip. I'm gonna get this! I don't know why I decided to try the backflip next. For sure, one of the most painful and scariest skills to learn. But I was prepared. I was confident this was gonna be easy work for me. <sighs> yep. You know, have a specific ritual to beat the fear of jumping backwards. Literally throwing myself in it. I mean, it doesn't look great, but it works. Or at least it worked until now. The problem is, the last time I tried the backflip, I almost broke my shoulder, and I kept casually jumping on it for a while. As a result, I basically couldn't move my arm for a month. Now my shoulder is fine, but my brain maybe doesn't know that yet. I'm not kidding, I tried for one hour, and then finally, absolutely nothing happened. Giving up was not an option, but I wasn't gonna get the backflip like that. I'm gonna try a few other skills, and then I'm gonna find there the motivation to come back here and get the freaking backflip. There is no way I'm gonna give up. Let's do this! Let's go! Let's do this! Jumping stairs, also known as superhuman legs. The only problem is that they don't make you jump higher, they just make you really tall. Which makes standing up extremely scary. Especially because last time didn't go really well. But this time, it actually didn't go that bad. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna show you with my phone what it's like to be 7 feet tall. <laughs> Let's try the stairs, not these ones though. Kinda tricky honestly, not sure. Oh my god, this was so scary. All right, I got it. Once it was clear that I could still walk, I tried to run. To do that, you basically need to bounce. One bounce after the other. And it's weird. I mean, I could run, but not really well. And for sure, I wasn't fast. After a while, I tried to ignore the feeling of imminent damage. And by practicing, I got a bit more confident with it. I also tried to jump, and I could still do it pretty well. I'm not jumping at all. But after all, it's fun to be seven <laughs> feet tall. <laughs> I was getting pumped to try the backflip again. But first, I wanted to spin a few stuff, including pens. The trick is called thumb around. It basically consists in spinning a pen around your thumb, and it's really satisfying. Once you get it. It's cool because it works with basically every single pen. While, if you like longer sticks, then you should try stuff spinning. I believe this is one of the coolest things I learned. Completely useless and highly dangerous for everything around you. B but I mean, it looks great. The first trick is easy. You basically need to repeat the same movement over and over. The hardest part is spinning the stuff fast while avoiding to break windows. It took me 15 minutes to reach maximum speed, but then it became a helicopter. A dangerous one. So I decided to try the hardest trick, which is similar, but way harder than the previous one. And indeed, I had a few problems with this one. Exactly the same way it happened in the past. Ah, I have the technique, but not the speed. Ah, oh my god. The sun is already going down. I wanna get it. I need to get it. The hardest part is getting a fluid movement while doing everything as fast as you can. And it took a while, about 30 minutes, but then yeah. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Now, let's try the backflip once again. I knew I had to find a way to beat my fear. And through that, I tried to build a huge mattress. But my granny's safety check embarrassed my work. She was scared. She was really scared. And came by to make sure everything was perfect. Literally everything. Kinda like if she knew that it was a bad decision. And the problem is that maybe I knew it too. Anyways, I did my usual ritual and I started pretty bad. The first attempt was absolutely terrifying. I need to throw myself a few times or I'm stuck. I'm completely stuck. I seriously don't know what to do. I probably need a... I'm not sure, maybe I need a bigger mattress. I, I don't know. It's just, I know it's here and I hate that. I couldn't do anything. Man, fear sucks, especially when we let it take control. I spent one hour looking at the mattress, trying to unlock something in my brain, but nothing worked. It just got worse. I'm gonna hurt myself. If I try, I just... I know I'm gonna hurt myself, I'm gonna... That is not me. F that is fear talking. Oh, f 
but there is no freaking way I'm gonna give up. Probably doesn't make any sense, but my brain is telling me that I need a big, fat, huge gym mattress. I'm gonna call a gym, and tomorrow, I'm gonna get there. The next day, I woke up with my confidence back, and I started to speed run skills. This is Sabo, this is Billy. My goal is to hit the apple on top of Billy without killing Billy. Juggling three balls, but I lost one ball in the process, so I'm gonna use a shoe I used to wear a few years ago. Throwing car. Mike Lee, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, let's go. After all that stuff, I also tried the no hand wheelie with one hand. To remove both hands, you need to modify the saddle. And last time I did it, I broke my father's bike. So I don't dare doing it again. Next, parkour. I need to touch the top of the wall. And if I get this, I will actually become a lord. You think I'm joking? I'm not joking. And I will also help nature in the process. Let me explain. Basically, by owning just a square foot of land in Scotland, you could officially change your name to lord or lady. Oh my god, I feel like I'm close. But this is way harder than I thought. And getting on your credit card, your plane tickets, and even on your dating profile. This is a game changer. And you can easily buy that land thanks to my friends at Established Tattoos, which have been kind enough to sponsor this video. After you order, they will not only send you a certificate with the title and the exact location of your land, but they will also plant a tree for every order they get. Come on, this is the perfect last minute gift. And they're also running a huge sale right now. If you want to get an additional 10% off, you can use code MikeShake and go to establishedtitles.com slash MikeShake right now. Everything was going great, yeah. kind of, because I kept getting really close. I mean, seriously, really close. And then I started to get even closer. I think it was at the same level. I didn't touch, but I think it was at the same level. I tried something like 50 times and I'm always half break away. <gasps> Literally half break away. That's probably my limit. But I still consider this a victory. Call me Lord Shake from now on. <laughs> there was one skill left to the backflip, and it wasn't an easy one. Tell me on a scooter, boys. I completely forgot knee pads and elbow pads, which are really important. But I have sunglasses instead. Let's do it. Jumping is a no-brainer. I immediately got it. The tail whip is a different story. I was actually closing the trick right away. But I was also touching the ground with my feet. And that makes the trick not count. What? And after doing the same mistakes for 20 times, I was getting frustrated. Oh my god! I wasn't really committed. Maybe I was a little bit scared to fall again because I didn't have my precious elbow pads. But there was no way I was gonna let the fear beat me again after the backflip. And so I fully committed and I freaking got the tail whip. Yes! I'm sorry. That was good. Let's move to the next one. Let's go! We are getting there! Speaking of the devil, the backflip. I had no excuses now. I had a huge mattress and I just needed to try. And indeed, after my usual warm-up method, I actually started trying. The theory was clear. Jumping as high as you can, tucking and landing. Hopefully not on your face. I was so excited that I forgot something that happens every single time I tried to flip. My head spins like a top. I need to get used to it. My head spins. I tried to ignore it for a while, but after 10 flips, I just wanted to throw up. I'm gonna throw up so bad. I was pissed. My technique was actually getting better. I mean, I did a nice job there. But then, I just wanted to throw up even more. You know, I've always been harsh with myself whenever I couldn't do something, and I felt not good enough every single time I failed. But for the first time, I realized that I have faults. A fault called flips. I'm not invincible. I'm human. But still, I will not allow these comments to be right. It wasn't all in vain, and no matter what, I'm gonna do everything I can to not fail a single skill left on the list. I really meant that. I just didn't know how hard that was gonna be.